The Innovation Award program is a nice showcase of what's new and interesting in the marketplace. One such innovation that will be on display at ISSA Show North America in Chicago is by Clorox Pro. And to talk about that entry, I welcome Lori Strasdis, the public health liaison with Clorox Pro. Hi, Lori. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. And thank you for giving your time to talk about your entry. Let's get right into it. Why don't you tell us about your entry and the details behind that? Great. Love to, Jeff. Um, so our entry is the Clorox Pro Healthy Clean Certificate Program. Um, the program is an online, on-demand, instructionally designed, and third-party accredited education and training program that is focused on cleaning for health in a way that is efficient, effective, and safe. And so the first course that is launching under our program is called the Train Specialist Course. And it is specifically focused on educating and training frontline cleaners. Um, this course is made up of seven modules, about 15 to 20 minutes each. It covers everything from what products, processes, and techniques are needed to clean for health. Again, in a way that's efficient, effective, and safe. It covers things like the science about how germs are spread, how to break the chain of infection, um, a tutorial on the different government agencies that are in place to help protect workers while they're on the job. Um, and importantly, it's product agnostic, which is unique for a manufacturer. Um, and so we are, the course is um, product agnostic. So we're not training on a specific uh, product. We are training on the job of cleaning for health. Um, it really is comprehensive in nature. It, uh, it, it is the essential and foundational knowledge. That's the way we're thinking about it for cleaners in the industry, and it can benefit all kinds of uh, cleaning operations. So it's also vertical agnostic. And so um, we think it's a way to help every organization become more balanced and more sustainable over time. Um, and so we actually also have a second course that is about to launch, and it's a course that is actually targeted at, uh, at managers, and we're calling this the trained manager uh, course of the Healthy Clean Certificate Program. And then we've got future courses in the pipeline. So we are including um, uh, Spanish versions of our English courses will be coming out. And then we are also going to be diving deeper into specific uh, verticals like healthcare settings. And so all courses are self-paced. They're available 24 seven because they're online and on demand. They can be taken on any device, um, a computer, a laptop, a tablet, a smartphone, whatever really is most uh, convenient for the learner. Very nice, Lori. That sounds interesting, and I'm sure many will take advantage of it. You, you talked about this a little bit, about the innovation, but any more to share on that? What makes this more innovative than other educational products? So truly, the list is long um, for what makes our education and training program unique and innovative, but there's three things I'd like to focus on. So the first is that it is the first and only industry-wide certificate course accredited by the American National Standards Institute National Accreditation Board, otherwise known as ANAB. So being accredited by that this institution means that the course reaches the highest standards of program quality and training comprehension. The standard uh, that the course is accredited against is called is an ASTM ANSI standard. Um, the number associated with it is E2659-18. And it is called the Standard Practice for Certificate Programs. The standard has over 65 criteria that must be met into, to, de to develop and maintain admin and administer a certificate program. And by being accredited, that means our program and our courses do meet that standard. So the second thing that makes our product innovative is that it is it utilizes evidence-based instructional design methods and best practices. So these instructional design is a method that is used to ensure that quality of learning um, occurs. And it's leveraged across uh, the world in academic institutions every day. And we also leveraged it to create our certificate programs. 
Um, and specifically, instructional design is focused on adult learning mainly um, because adult learners learn a little bit differently than, than child learners. And so it focuses on adult learning, very common, like I said, in academics and across um, uh, corporate environments um, in order to help train employees in an effective, effective and efficient way. So um, the third thing that makes our program unique is that it was developed by not only our experts at Clorox Pro, so as a manufacturer, um, we've developed this program, but we incorporated guidance from an eight-person external advisory board um, as well. So the, our advisory board is made up of, um, again, external uh, experts in facilities management, commercial cleaning, and infectious disease. Um, as well as frontline um, uh, personnel. And this is really important because the program then is um, being run by experts that are telling us and is actually required by the standard, um, they are required by the standard to tell us if we um, are meeting the needs of the industry. So we didn't do this in a vacuum. Um, and we leverage these experts to make sure that what we were putting out, what is in this training program is truly going to be um, helpful in the industry. Okay. Well, it sounds like a lot of thought, a lot of work has gone into this. Why don't you tell us my final question, how will this impact the industry? What are your thoughts there? Um, okay, so a couple of things that come to mind in terms of how it will impact the industry. So first of all, um, our industry is dealing with unprecedented um, expectations, right? COVID-19 has led us down this to this place where um, we understand now that cleaning is more than just, um, you know, needed for aesthetic reasons or for maintenance of a facility, but that we want to clean for health. So looking at removing and reducing the amount of germs that are spread and other unwanted matter in a facility. So um, by uh, enabling our frontline cleaners in particular for our first course to really learn um, how to do things efficiently, effectively, and safely for, for themselves as well to protect themselves from injury, um, the course will help them get that foundational knowledge they need to be up and running very quickly and um, working as effectively as possible. So then and that really kind of leads into my second point, which is that we're in the, in the current climate also as a result of COVID-19, but something that the industry has been dealing with for many, many years um, is staff uh, turnover, um, staffing shortages, um, and um, and, and, and ensuring that workers are engaged. So having a high quality education and training program is going to help the um, cleaning operations uh, engage their employees. They're gonna help, it's gonna help keep them um, where they are instead of wanting to go to another job. Um, they will be empowered. They know what they're doing. They know why they're doing, and it should help to reduce that turnover um, which could be very impactful and allow us to get to that place where we can clean for health in all facilities. So we still have a ways to go to do that. We think our program is going to help us get there um, by giving frontline cleaners and cleaning professionals an opportunity to take a very high quality education and training program in a very short amount of time. I forgot to mention that it's a, it's a three hour course with an exam at the end. Um, and so that foundational knowledge can be uh, obtained very quickly and easily for new staff, um, for staff that have been around a while but may never have gotten the fundamentals. That's what this program will be able to do.